on the right side. So you can't really say that something physical or tangible is something that um, purely exists because some people obviously can see things and then they think they are touching something, but it's not actually visibly there. So the, it's again relating to concept. How do we conceptualize something? Would it be more the observer? Like, if your brain is giving you the signals that there is something there, then for you, that is reality, where for others, it may not be. So it goes back to what is real. It depends on who you are and how you observe the world. And God damn, it's all relative. Stupid <laughs> word. It's the stupidest word. It's this. Like, Ooh, you can't have a real answer if everything is all relative and it's like based on who has who, like, give me a real answer. <laughs> but there isn't one if everybody has different perspectives and experiences. Yeah, I mean, it, to go on. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 go, no, go okay. on, Kyra. Go on, Kyra. Thank you. Um, to go on what Harris said, I would say that people with phobias and people who are in escape rooms, that really popped up to me when... Mm. So I am I am so grateful for, for these chances to connect and, and where I am to be able to be performing on stages again. Um, and so I'd just love to, to share two more poems with you. Uh, and this next poem for me is is just a celebration of, of being able to do what I do. It's one of my favourite poems that I've written. Uh, and it's also, it feels like a, a happy poem to go to because whenever I'm performing or traveling, or if I don't know who I'm going to be in front of, uh, I always go for this poem because I think it's a love poem we can all get behind love but also i wanted it to be cool so i put dinosaurs in it uh and i think that wherever you are we can all agree that dinosaurs are really cool um so this poem is called dinosaur love and it goes like this i want to say i love you but it seems it's not enough because when people say i love you it can mean a lot of stuff like i'll always have your back or I'm glad I'm not alone or to be honest, I'd say anything. So you'll hang up the phone because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. And these Doctor Who box sets ain't going to watch themselves. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff. And what I'm really trying to say is. to love you like a t-rex with a tiny brain but a massive heart and if i was a t-rex i could hold you in those t-rex arms in from my arm because that's dinosaur love it's the way that you send spines down my spine like a stegosaurus or how just like dinosaurs no one cares what came before us because i got that love so big it cannot be ignored like if you're with a dinosaur Everything else seems secondary. Dinosaurs are not mythical creatures. They are legendary. Plus, they're just really cool. I mean, the thing with dinosaurs is dinosaurs are kind of awesome. One of they actually existed. Just my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus. That's minotaur love. When this is dinosaur love, this ain't no damsel in distress. Trap princess, dragon slaying quest. Because one dragons never happens. Two, most women don't need rescuing. Sort of feminist dinosaurs. This is less prancing unicorns, more two ton triceratops or terrifying pterodactyls tearing terror from above. It's dinosaur love, molten rock and meteoric. Trust me, got love so old school, it's prehistoric. So if you're into Spielberg or hip hop with a classic vibe, then we could watch. What do you think then if we go up our scale? We've got me and Kanta, which you could also use a heart to describe. Uh, Adeline. I love. I love, yes. Perfect. So we're going, yeah, we're going up with our numbers of happy faces. The more happy faces, the, the more we like this thing. So me gusta, I like. Me gusta mucho, I like it a lot. And, and me encanta, I love. Okay, let's put that in there for you. 